Entrepreneurs cannot do it alone. They need others to grow. They need to find passionate employees who are willing to work with them instead of taking a safe job with the government or a promising job with a multinational corporation. In the same note, they need to convince distributors and suppliers to change the way they do business so all can prosper in the future. As our employees, they are part of my extended family. When I started in 1962, business on my own, I had 18 employees only. And they worked like my own brothers and sisters and I treated them as such. At that time, I started giving them their children and families all text school books, clothes to go to school and scholarships. Today, I have 1,200 workers in this place. I give them all that plus, plus, plus. It is my duty to look after my workers, my staff. And by doing that, they work collectively and my passion for tea, they share to a large extent. That has been of tremendous benefit to me. It's a strange combination of employees that we have. Half of them now, I would say, come uh, as professionals in a sense that, um, oh, and half of them are emotional. So uh, the professionals uh, where you need to, to give a training on motivation and, and sometimes uh, passion, and while for the other side who are motivation and passion, you need to inculcate professionalism uh, because they are so motivated and passionate. They sometimes um, sometimes don't adhere to uh, uh, some of the processes that the company needs to have in terms of working, in terms of growing, in terms of uh, uh, streamlining, of creating a foundation. Huh. So we have these two sets of training uh, it's always easier to, um, always easier, uh, I find it, to uh, train uh, professionals to get passion, but training the passionate people to run after processes is a nightmare. But any day, if you tell me whom do I pick up, I would definitely commitment and passion because uh, they're much more honest, um, straightforward. If things don't work, they'll tell right on the face whether it's a director of the board or a or, or the managing director, they'll tell it's not working and, and we'll tell them to come at one o'clock, they'll come at one o'clock. Uh, in terms of um, our artisans, um, well artisans need to be you know, talented and creative and you know, artisans, one of the things they like the most about Navika is they have the chance to, 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 do, to be artists. Uh, they don't have to sell their products and, for, and, worried, and, and be worried about selling products and I think that's really, that's exciting for them that they can, that they can be creative and focus on the making process as opposed to the selling process. For my employees, um, I will look for passion and innovation. And for my suppliers, I will say quality is a really important one, and as well as inspiration. These are mm -hmm. two, two main characteristics. Um, and I've been lucky because uh, I've found some suppliers and employees that uh, fulfill those characteristics and when you find them you have to keep them most of the of the subcontractors that we that we work with uh, we worked almost from the uh, beginning uh, there are several reasons for that I think first of all uh, we were able to motivate them when we were starting that they are also part of something new and that they are participating in something that eventually will grow and that they will grow together, that their business will grow together with us. So, imagining for instance the property management company that you mentioned, uh, to give you an idea, in, back in 2004, we started with uh, the with, uh, uh, monthly revenue that was approximately equivalent to $1,000 a month. Uh, and uh, now, uh, so five years later, uh, we are invoicing approximately one quarter of a million uh, dollars a month. And uh, uh, in absolute terms, this is not big. In relative terms, the, the growth rate is humongous. Uh, if you think that most of the people or partners that we, that we started to work back then, 
they are uh, they are our partners uh, today. Uh, as our business was growing, uh, their business was growing too. The commitment as partners, we have been with them for uh, about five years. They had seen us, we had seen us, and uh, we were able to handle their products quite efficiently and uh, effectively. Uh, we're one uh, of their best distributors on the African continent. Uh, we've got uh, a management team and uh, a team of employees uh, that is really uh, above reproach and uh, uh, very committed to, to, to what we do, uh, uh, very committed to the cause of having uh, the poorest of the poor treated.